Oh, sure. Um, yeah, um, uh, Savage Town is a story. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm primarily known as an illustrator. Um, but uh, when in Injection, I remember we, we there was a couple of scenes in Dublin. I remember being like, it felt really cool to draw Ireland in a comic that would be read worldwide. And I, I, I couldn't help but think I would love to have a whole book that was like that. Um, so uh, I thought I'd also I wanted to write a crime story because I, I love crime, but I've never really gotten to do it that much. Um, and I used to live in this city called Limerick, which had it had a bad reputation for gang violence in the uh, early 2000s. So it, it seemed like a kind of a good opportunity to put, you know, crime and uh, Irish culture and uh, comics and put it together. But uh, I, I wasn't I wouldn't be able to draw it because I I draw injection. Um, so I asked a friend of mine, uh, Philip Barrett. Uh, who's a local Irish artist who's tremendous, like amazingly talented, um, to if, if he would draw it. So it's it's basically an Irish crime story uh, set during a kind of um, a time when Ireland was becoming more prosperous before before the crash. Um, but it was it was very unusual for us because Ireland is traditionally a very poor country. Um, so uh, so it's, it's just it's stuff that I was thinking about a lot. And I kind of I thought I just thought having words with image. I could pitch it and see what happens, and if they said no, they said no. But they said yes, so I thought I'd try it. And um, and I've, I've I've written it in like the Irish uh, like slang as well. So I'm not sure how it will. I mean, there's it will be translated. I'm not sure like how it'll be translated, but it'd be it would be very interesting. But um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 yeah. Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, 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 two reasons. One was just um, logistics. I if I d I would have to draw that for free for a year and I would have to stop drawing injection and I'm yeah you know like and that's my living you know so it just it just didn't make sense from a logistical point of view also I mean Warren works on lots of books Wildstorm and like his Castlevania TV show and uh, Jordi who colors the book she like has Batman and you know loads of projects <laughs> almost everything yeah but you know and I just I had injection and I was very grateful for it but at the same time you know, I have more stories I'd like to tell. I just can't physically draw all of them. I can only, there's only so many pages I can do, you know? Um, so I thought, well, in, well, why not, why not work with another uh, illustrator, maybe somebody who isn't as well known as me and give them an opportunity. The same way Warren gave me an opportunity by working with me. And I, I like that, I like, I like giving opportunities to other people because I've been I've been very very fortunate. So it was, and also um, Philip is Irish. He's from Donegal. Um, he he knows he knows the world. Like he, if you he knows how to draw like you know uh, crappy uh, build uh, estates, housing estates, and he just he just knows the 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 the, the locale, the characters, the scenery. I, I think he did it. I think he drew it better than I would have because he his attention to detail was phenomenal as well. Um, but um, so yeah, it was a mix of supporting somebody else, wanting to do more stories than I than, than I could, and also I didn't want I didn't want to I didn't want Image to give me an opportunity to write and not fulfill my obligate my obligation on injection, you know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, no, they don't seem to do blog art blogs anymore. Just yeah. I mean, you know, it's. Yeah, it is busy. Well, I I did one with uh, my Irish friends. We called it eclectic mix. So that was for us. You know, there was a few Irish people working in comics, but you know, we didn't live next to each other, so it was a way of kind of having a kind of a group conversation, and we'd all try and you know outdo each other. But then um, through Twitter, I'd, I'd talked to other artists like um, Evan Shaner, Chris Somney, uh, Mike Hawthorne, Tom Fowler, uh, Mitch Breitweiser, um, you know, the, the, all these guys who were who were who were in America and had some American comics. I wouldn't have been as well known. So I think they said, do you want to get together and do a sketch blog? And I'm like, well, if Chris Somney, if I'm being seen next to him, that'll just, that doesn't hurt. Um, and, and it was a lot of Americans looked at that blog because there were American creators on it. And because there were American creators and I was there, they saw me too. So it definitely helped with exposure, a huge, huge deal. So when I was, I was also drawing 28 Days Later at the time. So when I went to America to kind of um, to try and like show my portfolio, a lot of people actually knew my stuff from the blog. It, it ended up being very popular. Um, we would take like a theme for the week, like Zorro or Batman, and everybody would do a piece. And of course, everybody would be trying to like outdo each other to a degree. But um, yeah, it ended up being very, very popular. But I guess with the way social media is now, um, 
uh, blogs are kind of outdated or uh, it's yeah it's it's weird there's no everything's more disparate it's not as whereas it was it was it was fun to just have a blog where you could find all of us you know uh, no not as such I mean uh, injections gone slower than originally planned but because I don't because Warren's schedule or my schedule um we end up ta we've ended up taking breaks in between each volume. I personally kind of like it because then when I come back for a new vo because each volume is centers on a different character and the genre is different, yeah. it kind of feels like starting a new book each time, you know. So I kind of enjoy that. So I we tend to kind of do a volume, take a break, do a volume, take a break. Um, but no, yeah, it's 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 still planned. I, I think we're I think we're doing well enough that we can we can make it to five. Um, the well, I know Warren's planning the fourth one now because we just finished the third one. Uh, the issue 15 came out last week, yes. I think, um, and that I'm so happy with that arc. It's just bonkers. I, I love how crazy it is. But um, uh, we're going to take another break after this. I'm going to do something short, uh, work for hire thing. Just that's just it's five issues, and then I'll come back and back to injection. But um, yeah, we've two volumes left, so it feels good to be over the halfway halfway mark. You know. Well, with Injection, I mean, he ran some ideas by me first, but I mean, I'm not going to go, no, this is shit, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, I just I just asked for some things that I would like to, to put into it, but he, he had asked me to tell him, like, all the things that I'm interested in, like all the TV shows and comics that I like. So he has a very good sense of, like, what my taste is and what I'm interested in. So I don't ask him, can I do this, can I do that? I just asked if I could have an Irish character. That's the one thing I asked for. Otherwise, I... I don't want him. I don't want him to fuck with my art, and I don't want. I'm sure he doesn't want me to fuck with his story. Um, now, excuse me. As regards what you're saying, um, him being uh, careful of the of the visual aspects. I mean, he is. It's it's interesting. He. I think no matter what medium Warren works in, he he understands the medium or he appreciates it. So he's not trying to write a film as a comic. He's not trying to write a book as a comic. He's not trying to make a. You know, it, 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 he's, he's drawing. He's writing comics. He knows, he knows how the the the, the, the form works. Like how, uh, what works in the medium. Like uh, making sure there's visual moments. The pacing. Like um, and uh, what's interesting is the is the pacing on this works so well for me. Um, uh, it's been be very. It's been. It's felt very intuitive. Um, but yeah, yeah, we didn't really sit around. He kind of he gives me scripts. I have no. F fucking idea what's going to happen until I read the script and then I still don't know what's happening <laughs> um, but I know he, he told me before that uh, I'm his first audience so like you know part of me would like to know more so I could maybe like you know plan stuff or I'll have such a, you know just, just feel more informed but um, at the same time I like that I have no idea what I'm going to see issue to issue It's it keeps me it keeps me motivated and it keeps me energised it keeps me trying harder I would say when I finish an issue, I'll give it to her, and I'll tell her there's some things I'm specifically thinking of, like this character's shirt is red, um, you know, the sky is green, you know, something like that. And generally, she will do that, or she will do something very similar to it, knowing what I would, would be looking for. But there are times where she will do something completely different because she thinks that what I wanted didn't work. And I don't fight her on those. I, I respect her I respect her opinions, I respect her I respect her ideas. Similar to like if Warren had an idea and I went <laughs> that I would be an idiot. In a similar way, if Jordy has an idea, I will at the very at the very, very least uh, hear her out. But uh, sometimes we, we would disagree and I would say I would prefer this. But um I will always hear what her idea is and to be honest, generally just go with it. Like I I mean even with the, the latest injection, I think I don't even think I even had notes. I think, um, I mean, she'll always, if she does something more drastic, she'll run it by me first. She'll ask, is it okay? But at this stage, I just trust her. You know, I, 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 I think the only notes I ever have are flatting things, like little, tiny little flatting errors, which generally happen because of the flatter, not because of Geordie. But, um, uh, but yeah, I basically try to give her my input beforehand and just leave her alone. And and make her own decisions. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, yeah, it's, it's and it's yeah, it's been an amazing collaboration. For example, in in, in Moon Knight, the, the idea of representing the main character in those plain whites, yeah. it, it was it was your idea or was uh, her idea? It was actually my idea. <laughs> yeah, um, but 
you know, but I got the idea from her. She had done an arc of um, Ultimate X Men, and uh, Kitty Pride was in white, and they kept her in white. And I just stayed in my head, especially because with Moon Knight, you know, if I was drawing Batman, I would use black as as a visual tool, as a as a design element. So with Moon Knight, I wanted to use white, and you know, some colors would be too scared to use that much white, but. I said to Jordi, and she kind of fought me at first, but I, that's an example of where I said, no, this is really what I want to do. And she, you know, she absolutely did it and made it work, and like, amazingly so. But, you know, that was a bit of back and forth. But, um, uh, yeah, I can take... I, there's a lot of stuff that in my work that looks great is actually Jordi. But, there's, but in that case, that's actually me. I'll take credit for that one. <laughs> the, way, the way I felt is, is there's no point doing a, a Warren Ellis comic and playing it safe. If you can't take if you can't take chances on a Warren Ellis comic, when the hell will you? You know, yeah, you is is scarier when you don't see him. Yes. You know, uh, like the artists, uh, the 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 first instinct is to just draw, you know, something cool. But um, I tried to basically. I find um, uh, limitations can be great. You know, so like an injection, I do whatever the hell I want, and I love it. But I also d don't mind working within restrictions sometimes because it can force you to come up with more creative ideas. So with with Punisher, I, I mean, it was actually Jordy helped me a lot with the uh, the first cover because I was going to do something different, and she said, "Why don't you just do something more like totally off the wall?" So she pushed me to do something different, and that's how that skull cover was. And because the skull cover didn't show Punisher and it showed a skull, I thought, well, what if I try and make every cover? Keep, those are the rules. Don't show him um, and uh, have a skull because it's such a great graphic uh, uh, thing. So that's what we, I did. I just tried to make sure that no matter what, we'd never really see him uh, except for the last cover. The last cover, I just, just went, you know, leaned right into it. But, um, but that's okay because we've done it. That was issue 17, I think. Um, so I don't mind breaking the rule for 17. But yeah, I tried to make sure we never clearly see him or we might see him from the back or he might be far away but try and lean away from doing like a hero shot basically you know actually it's like, like a, an evolution in those cover and in the yeah. final one okay here it is yeah yeah there yeah and you know there's just a sea of skulls behind him basically but um uh no but you know, those and again i have to credit marvel like they 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 did bend a lot for i don't I think think they cover for issue three he's uh underneath uh, his van and yes. it's it's tilted. I did not think they were going to let me do that, but they did. You know, I mean, fair. Like I, you'd expect Marvel would be like, no, no, you can't do anything interesting. But they're they're pretty flexible. I mean, sometimes uh, there's some stuff that I couldn't. But I mean, I I don't know. I I don't mind. I don't mind being told no sometimes, as long as it's, there's a decent reason. Um, but they were they were very flexible and um, and and even they had good they had some really cool notes that made the covers better as well. I generally wouldn't really want to hear editor notes because I'm not, they can can go either way. But um, with there was uh, Jake Thomas and um, Kathleen I think Wazenski is her second name. But um, uh, they they had a couple of I mean they'll throw out maybe five and I would ignore three but take two because they were really good you know there's always a back and forth but no I'm really proud of those covers like yeah uh, do, do you like uh, working as a cover artist uh, it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's, yeah no it's it, it is it is it's it's a different it's it's you're, t all, you're telling a story but in one image it's very different to telling like it, uh, telling a story over 20 pages in, in sequential uh, form but I, I like that it's, it's uh, you have you basically if you walk into a comic shop you're going to see all of the covers. I, I, it was my job to get your attention. Uh, sometimes it means drawing a very complex image. Sometimes it means drawing a very simple image. Um, and I, I like that challenge, you know. Um, especially, the, I, like, I like a regular, I like to be on a... So, like, um, Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan is a book that I'm writing now. So, I'm, But I'm also doing the covers. So, for my thinking, I'm like, what's going to help this book stand out? And for me, it's like, have very little read because Deadpool covers generally have so much red in them and try try make it like more um, uh, negative space because generally Deadpool covers have loads of crap in them, you know? So it's, it's, it's always, I like, take, I like having a book or a miniseries and trying to come up with an identifying kind of look to, to create a look for the book so that even if you don't know the image, you feel like you know what, what the book is, you know? probably feel more comfortable on work for hire because I, I just did it for so long it just comes naturally um, creator owned is, uh, working on creator owned is, is, is just harder it's harder it's more fulfilling 
Like I, I, I'm, I'm happier to be doing them, uh, and they've they've made me more. Uh, they've made me a better creator. They've made given me more uh, autonomy in my career. But there's just so much work. Yeah, like just the, the the writing and the and the, it's so much time. It's easier to just get a script and draw it. That is so much easier than developing projects and working with like uh, you know other uh, it, 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 being a project manager is is, is so much work. Um, so yeah, I, I would say it's more comfortable, but that's not necessarily the best thing to be doing. You know, like that's why I like to I like I like having both. I feel I'm very lucky that I can. Do a Marvel book uh, and then an image book and our DC book and image. I think, for from a creative point of view, it's it's healthy to to have both. You know.